Hello and welcome to Transmitting Until Robots Replace Us. My name is Drew, call sign AC3DS. I'm glad you're here for this two minute tutorial on how to set the RF power output uh, on your ICOM 7300. So let's dive right in, put two minutes on the clock. The ICOM 7300 has the ability to send up to 100 watts out from the radio as it is. Um, however, you can alter exactly how much it's sending out through the use of the multi knob. So if I press that multi knob in, you can see that for me right now, I have my power output set to 0%. And as I'm doing a lot of these videos and you know any kind of demonstration, I'm going to want to put this at 0% because I don't want anything going out to my antenna at the moment. It's worth noting though that 0% in this case doesn't actually mean nothing it really means less than 1%. Um, so I think that if we were to actually measure the actual output, it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 0.1 or 0.2, uh, 0.2 watts, somewhere in that range. Um, you know, effectually though, for me, that's nothing considering the loss that I have on my feed line. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, now, for other applications, maybe when I'm tuning or checking my SWR, sometimes I'll have it around 10%, all the way up to maybe even 30%. Um, now, if I am you know, going portable and I'm using a battery for maybe POTA or something like that, parks on the air, I will sometimes use 50% uh, to get a little bit more longevity out of my battery. Um, but when I'm here at home, I'll typically, you know, go all the way to 100%, provided that my, you know, SWR and my, uh, you know, radio is able to tune that particular frequency. So again, just keeping all of that in mind. Um, nice, easy access to this functionality, definitely something that you need to know where it is and how to use it. There you have it.